Hey guys, so today is my annual, wait, did I do this last year? I don't know if I did this last year. If not, then it's my first annual educational stocking stuffers gift guide. Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. If you are new here, my name is Abby and I have four kids who I homeschool. They are 10, eight, six, and two and a half. So if you are looking for good educational toys, I am going to be talking about all of those age ranges. Today's a collaboration with Jessica from The Waldock Way. She and I collabed last week on ed an educational gift guide, and today we're doing educational stocking stuffers. If you popped over to her channel last week, then you guys know she's all about the games, the toys, all of the great educational products out there. She's in the know on those. She has the sweetest little girl named Emily, so you're gonna love some of the stuff that she has to share. Her and her daughter probably have tested like every great educational toy for that age. So make sure you pop over to her channel after you watch this um, to get some really great ideas. So today is my first, maybe my first annual, I don't, I can't remember if I did this before, educational stocking stuff or gift guide, like I said. Um, You'll at least see it next year and the year after and the year after if you didn't see one last year. I really honestly can't remember if I did one last year or not, but I love talking about educational toys and educational products, and so we are just gonna dive right into it. All of these are toys, games, books that are under $20 and can fit within a stocking or at least can be squeezed into a stocking, hopefully, without having to be unpackaged. There's a lot of stuff that I'm like, ooh, if they could take that out of the box, that could fit in a stocking, but I'm not gonna do that to y'all and make you guys do extra work. So all of these things should be able to fit into a stocking as is. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna start with a couple of little games. So the first game I have to show you is Quicks. This is one that I showed in my, I think I showed this in my What I Got My Kids For Christmas video. This is a quick playing dice game that has you on the edge of your seat according to their information on the back here. So, um, each decision is crucial. The more numbers you cross off, the more points you score. With no downtime between turns, you'll have a chance to gain from each and every roll. So this looks like a lot of fun. I grabbed this for my kids um, a while ago, but it would fit perfectly in a stocking and it's a really great price. So that's the first game I have to show you there. The next one is this. Now this is a two pack. These, are, these two products are sold separately, but I bought them together. So Tenzi is what I'm showing you. This would fit great into a stocking as well. Or if you already have Tenzi, you can get 77 ways to play Tenzi. So there's the original Tenzi game, and then there's 77 different cards um, to play this game differently. So Pear-Z, the first to roll five different pairs. Even-Z, roll a Tenzi of all twos, fours, or sixes. stork roll Tenzi standing on one foot. All sorts of fun, creative ways to play this traditional dice game. So this would be really fun for over Christmas break or if you're going, if you're traveling over Christmas, this would be a great one because I can see kids having a great time in a hotel or a rental house or with cousins or extended family. You wanna break the ice with some cousins they haven't seen for a while. These would be really great games to have on hand. Now individually, those are under $20 each together. I think they were 30. Oh, this is another great game because this one can be together or alone. So you can play this with people or you can do it single player. Uh, this is the Melissa and Doug suspend game. Does it say? I, I'm actually, let me think. Yeah, one to four players. Let me think, did we make our own modification on that? So one to four players. This is really fun. Um, they, all of my kids have played it, even though it's technically, I think, ages eight and up, but all of my kids have played this game. This is a really neat one to have on hand. Sometimes this is in our homeschool room as a um, warm-up game, you know, for them to have to play one-on-one, -on -one, like a Logic STEM style toy. Sometimes we play this on family game night. So like I said, it can be for one kid, it can be for a group of siblings, and it would fill a stocking nicely. So this would be a nice, solid stocking stuffer toy, and that is always a good price. Um, here's another game, this IC10 math game, depending on your kids' ages. So with this one, let me show you the inside of it here. You've got all these little, okay, let me slow my roll. You've got all these different little sea creatures and numbers on the back here. 
This is great for number recognition, preschool um, and up. So for this game, yeah, you take turns flipping cards, see and grab combinations that make 10. So reel in the most combinations and win. If you're playing it for number recognition, you can just do pairs of numbers, but that's technically the way to play it is to um, make up combos of 10. You can do that like odds, evens, however you wanna play that game. Now these Professor Noggins games are awesome. Geography of the United States card game. We also have the insect card game. Um, these are really fun. There's so many different um, historical, science, all sorts of great versions of this game. So this is a fun one to have, especially if you have a child who has a very specific interest. I would guess you could probably find something around that interest Wherever we are in history or science, I've always been able to find one of those card games. That's fun to have on hand. Do I have any other game? Oh, this is like my favorite educational stocking stuffer to suggest, Math Dice. So, technically, the way you play this game, it comes with this little um, mat here. And then, actually, I don't even know if I know the official way to play. Everybody has their markers. Here, their little game pieces. I just dumped it all out. And then you roll this number, and then you roll these numbers, and you try to make up combos to get to that number um, with the most dice, and then however many dice you use, you can go along this. This is technically the, the Math Dice Junior, I think. Now, the way that we play it is I play one-on-one -on -one with each of my kids because going, like dumping all the dice out onto the floor and then having the kids like Bella and Jesse, of course, are older and a few grades ahead of Eli. So he's not going to be able to come up with like a combo of five dice real quick. So for example, like to get to 12, they could be like, they see three threes and then a six. They would be like three times or three, yeah, three times three is nine, add three, that's 12, add, you know, whatever. To get, to, they could add, subtract, multiply, do it, all the numbers, um, and if they can like make five of the dice come up with the combo that was rolled, then they get to move five spaces. Eli can't think that fast. He's still doing one number and one number. And so for him, I just play one-on-one -on -one with them. So I'll say, sit down with Bella and Jesse. And for Bella, I'll say you have to at least do multiplication or division once. With Jesse, I'll say you have to at least do subtraction or multiplication once. Then with Eli, I'll just play him one-on-one -on -one with addition and subtraction. And we'll just go round and round and round. And I'll play them one-on-one. -on -one, and then they'll move that many spaces. But we're technically all playing together. <clears throat> I probably just ruined how much fun this game is with that long explanation. But just know this. It's a great game to have in the schoolroom. You can modify it however you want to for your family. It's really versatile and it fits perfectly in a stocking. <clears throat> Excuse me, this was a gift, a random gift from my aunt, I believe it was last year. She gave it to us and I texted her like two weeks after Christmas and I was like, this has been the best game. Like the kids are loving this, we're playing it over and over again and she was like, oh good, I didn't know what it was but I saw it was math and I thought you would like it. So she didn't even know what it was and it was such a big hit for our family. Um, I think that is now, oh no, no, of course, we got another game. So Canoodle and then Canoodle Gravity. These are really great single player logic games. Our actual Canoodle game is in my car, so I didn't go grab it. Uh, I got that for both my kids last year. One of my kids lost all the pieces. So if you aren't a little, little piece family, don't buy these, but uh, there are pieces to lose, and if you do lose, lose those pieces, you can't play the game. But I got this Canoodle Gravity for my son this year who loves the Canoodle game. Um, so this is a, a really great stocking stuffer size and a great thing, again, to have in the car, to have over Christmas break, etc. Um, I'm going to name a few things here for the younger ones. So for my two and a half year old, I got her this Trace Ace Scissor Skills. She has been wanting to cut with scissors and so I saw this on sale a couple of weeks ago and grabbed this. So if you have little ones who are in the homeschool room with you and you don't have a lot for them to do, this is an awesome gift idea. This, I can see that being the one she opens first, like when she unwraps and wants to take it right out of the box immediately. 
Um, these little, I believe these are from Alex Toys. They might be Melissa and Doug. I'm gonna link all this below, but all these little dough tools are really great for her. She has a little kid craft wooden table and the center is cut out with a net under it and she keeps all her little Play-Doh tools in there. So these are really great to have on hand. I like the wooden ones over the plastic cookie cutter type of tools. They're really small so she can maneuver them and um, she plays for hours with these. This is another thing that I've had to repurchase. I've repurchased this when we've lost them over the years. Um, I just repurchased these. These come in a pack of four. You've got three different little tweezers like this, I believe, and also one water like suction squeezy thing. Um, these are great little sensory bin tools, little, um, you can play with water tables or like a bucket of beans, or if you have nice, exciting sensory bins. These are really great tools to have on hand. These are always, all, I think they're around $10. Sometimes they're less than $10. So I'll link these below as well. These are great to have. I've had these around since, well, I got these for my oldest son and then he did break this one eventually. So then when Annie was one, I bought these again and then she broke this one again because we do a lot of sensory bins and somebody I think stepped on it. So I just repurchased these a couple of weeks ago when they were on sale. So I really like these um, for her age, uh, or from like one to three, I would highly recommend having those on hand. You can't even believe, even just like uh, uh, bubbles in the bathtub, those are great to just play with. So those are really, really a great versatile tool that we've used in our homeschool for years. And if you're really just stumped on what to get for a kid and another family who's around that age, I really do recommend those. I really, really like those. Um, do you guys think this is stocking stuffer size? I mean, there's my head. I don't know. I don't know if these, if this technically would fit in our stocking, but I really like this game. It's this cute little wooden Montessori bee sorting puzzle. It came with little tweezers that are somewhere in our school room. This is a great one if you, you know there are just like the people who really like bees. Like we did a pollination unit study last year, so now we're like bee people. Unless we see one outside, then we're not bee people. But we're like bee dreamers, yeah? <laughs> So um, this is a really cute little game to have. I love having this around in our school room along with this book. That's not my B, but I'll show you this in a little bit. So sometimes I'll set this up for her. This is a fun one. I hope it's under $20 right now. Sometimes it's a little bit more, um, but that's a great game to have, or a great little sorting toy to have on hand. Uh, I'll show you a couple of cute little books here, and then I've got some other activities over here. The Stargazer's Journal. This is awesome. I got one of these for all of my kids. It's $12.99. This is like a nature journal for, for the night sky, essentially. So this is really exciting to me. I like stalked the website until it came out. Um, if you're a nature novice and you need a little bit of guidance um, or your kids just like to scribble through journals and you, there's some prompts in there, this is a really good option and it's perfect size for a stocking. Um, I love these foil art sets. I have patterns. Bella's had this before. These are actually for two of my nieces. I've got oceans and patterns. And these are foil glitter, essentially. So if you know a crafter who tends to be messy, I happen to know one who's almost 11, and she is very messy when she's crafting. These are really great. You're, the parents of this child would love you for getting this gift. So essentially, you get these little sheets of glitter in there, but they're foil, but they look like glitter, and you go over the template and you rub them on there, and then you peel it back, and it sticks, but it's foil, so it's not like there's little glittery pieces all over the place. Bella has made some really, really neat um, patterns with that. So you kind of see, I don't want to open it because it's a gift, but you see how it looks on the back there when they're done with it. So. It comes with the instructions in here. It's really simple to figure out. And then um, it comes with a couple of packs of the fo glitter foil and the templates. So same for the patterns one. Um, it's just more like patterns. And then this is like the ocean, like oceans and patterns. So there's that. Um, this survival skills handbook, if you're looking for a book recommendation, like a stocking stuffer book recommendation for an older boy, this is great. Jesse loves these. There's volume one and then volume two. 
So he's all about the survival skills, but not just sometimes he's just not wanting to read like a chapter book. But something like this is really right up his alley. So he's eight, but I can see this being really great all the way up to like 12 or 13 years old. If you want to see really well inside. So there's that. Um, let's see. Well, since I just showed you a Bear Girls handbook, I'll show you these. These Bear Girls chapter books are $4.99. Um, they're the same as the ones that were out last year, but they just have a new um, covers. But these are really great. These were great books for Jesse. They're like the kind of, they're like kids who are at summer camp essentially, and they get transported into this challenge with Bear Grylls. So if your kids are into like survival skills or they're um, Bear Grylls fans, this is a whole thing, like a whole bunch of, a whole series. There's the Earthquake Challenge, Volcano Challenge, Blizzard Challenge, Mountain Challenge, o Ocean Challenge, River Challenge, so many challenges. So that's a great one. Um, scrunch Maps. I think I showed these last year. So now I think I, I did do an educational stocking stuffer guide last year because I remember showing these. Scrunch maps are really great. They fit into this small sized little um, sack here, but then they fold out into full size maps. The detail doesn't go away when they get all crinkled. They can open it up and see the detail very well. I think it's like a vinyl material. I don't really know how to explain it, but it doesn't rip. It's very, very, very difficult to rip it. See. Um, if you're going on a road trip, if your kids like to travel, if your kids like to explore, if they're geography fans, all of the above, these are really great um, stocking stuffers. They're the perfect size and the perfect price as far as what I consider to be stocking stuffers. So I have the world scrunch map and the US scrunch map. So there are those. Um, mine vendors, you could totally just roll this up and stick it in a stocking. It's very pliable. Is that the right word? Uh, how much were these? These were definitely under $20. I wish I had, I wish I knew off the top of my head. Uh, these deductive thinking skills. Level three is for grades three through six. My daughter, this is perfect for her. I've got level two for my son, level one for my younger son. Um, these are really great books. They are difficult. Like I've shown them to you guys before the inside of them, but these are really fun. We are using these as a curriculum in our house, but if I didn't have them planned out to last the whole year. My kids would love to get their hands on these and just do them constantly. So they're fun. They're kind of like, the only way I can really explain it is like, they're kind of like Sudoku, but with word problems and logic problems. So these are really great. Um, and those would be really fun on a road trip. That would really like burn some, some um, brain power there. I did show you this book. I love these little touchy feely books. Annie memorizes these and these have been a sweet book that we've had around forever. Uh, we've got That's Not My Bee, so it goes through like, That's Not My Bee, it's feelers are too bumpy, so these are bumpy here. Um, it's tummy is too fuzzy and it goes all the way through until it's That's My Bee. It's wings are so sparkly, or parkly as Annie would say. And then I've got That's Not My Flamingo, we've got That's Not My Angel, That's Not My you know Puppy, That's Not My Kitty, That's Not My Bunny, all those different um, animals. So same deal here. Um, this is actually gonna be a Christmas gift for her, so we need to set this aside. I'm really excited to show you guys these. You're gonna see them again when I show what I got my boys for um, in their stockings, these cardboard construction kits. My boys love, all my kids really love making things out of cardboard. So these come with uh, little cardboard tools and little cardboard screws there. I chose this brand because it had more of the little screws. So there's some longer screws and some shorter screws. And then the tools, one tool to cut the cardboard, one uh, screwdriver essentially. I got these for each of my boys. So if you know boys who love to craft and mess around with cardboard, those are really, really good gift options, I hope. I have not opened them and used them, but they had good reviews. I love these learning wrap-ups. These are also perfect size for a stocking. So which one am I showing you right now? These are the division ones. These are self-correcting. So you take this and you go through, you start on this side, so start with seven. Seven divided by one is seven. Two divided by one is two, and you wrap it up. Nine divided by one is nine. 
And then on the back, it self corrects or they can self check, make sure that this yarn is lined up with these little ridges there. So it goes through a uh, 10 with division. We also have this one for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and states and capitals. Those are the ones that we own in our house. These are great uh, because you have them essentially for um, all age ranges. So I, was it last year or was it Easter baskets? I put one in each of my kids' stocking or Easter basket um, and they all have their own, but then as time goes on, um, we kinda, we kinda use all of them. Okay, I definitely just messed up my setup because I knocked my camera over completely. Um, illustrated ballet stories, this is a different, you know, it's not a typical um, chapter book, so I thought I would show this to you guys. This one is almost $20 um, for the hard cover. I know there is a soft cover, but this one is great if your kids still like illustrated books, but they're, you know, at chapter book age. This is for my daughter. She is in dance. She loves dance. There are all of the different stories within this book, all these classic ballet stories. Um, this is really great for preteens. That's why I wanted to show you this. They have these pretty illustrations. If your kids are in dance or they're familiar with these stories, this is a really great gift option. I just think these are classic um, stories, but also beautiful little heirloom type of books. And the illustrations are really pretty. So that's a great one to gift. Um, I love this nature activity book. This is the little children's book. So if your kids do nature study, but you don't um, have a, a nature journal or something for your younger ones, say like four to seven years old, this is a fun one. It's one that can roll up. I've shown these two guys before, so I'll just pop them in. These are under $10, the measuring things, times tables. I ha also have telling the time. These are really fun. They're very educational. They're not like, they're not like a sneaky educational thing. It's like, this is, measurement this is multiplication like you're not going to trick your kids but once they open them they're really um brightly colored they're really great very engaging i'll pick i'll pick three more four more flag sticker book this is a really great one i should have shown this to you with the um the um scrunch world scrunch map this is a fun one my kids really like this book Another one that will take up a good portion because of the height, but you can totally roll it up easily. Um, for little ones, I love this first sticker book dollhouse, and I have another one that will go right along with this for older kids. Oh, I grabbed a used one, whoops. I meant to grab one that wasn't, um, didn't have any stickers in, but my daughter loved this, as you can tell, my um, two and a half year old. So this is a fun sticker book if you're looking, if you guys like sticker books or activity books and you're looking for a different one. This, my beautiful room, I got for my older daughter. It kind of goes along with the dollhouse sticker book. This is like a design your dream room type of thing, but it's really more for big kids. It's got like um, kind of like different palettes they can put together. It's not just like, where do you want your bed and pick your covers or whatever. It's got tons of um, little design pages. This is really fun. It might even be a little old for my 10 year old. So maybe like 11 to 14. I mean, heck I would kind of probably love to play with this myself right now. So just saying, but this is a really great one. If you're looking for an activity book or like a sweet book like that for older girls, that's a great one. And then last but not least, I love this fold out solar system. If you have a, um, a solar system fan, astronomy fan, space station fan. This is really great. So look at how big this folds out. The one side has, um, which side am I showing you? So yeah, this side is just simple. It's got the planets and things. And then the other side has all sorts of, it's the same picture, but all sorts of more information, all sorts of more. That's not a real, Words are hard, I've said this before, words are hard when you're talking for a long time and nobody's talking back. Talk back to me in the comments. Let me know what you guys are thinking so far. This is $14.99, it's great if your kids don't have room for a poster in their bedroom. So this one is another really great stocking stuffer size. Um, so yes, that is what I have to show you. I know I'm forgetting stuff, I really know I am because I'm constantly finding things like, oh that's a great stocking stuffer idea. That's a great stocking stuffer idea, but this is what I have to show you guys today. Um, make sure you go check out Jessica's video. I have a feeling we probably showed a few of the same things because I've 
seen some of her stories and videos and you know we'll comment back and forth like oh I'll be like Jesse loves that game she'll be like Emily loves that game so I'm sure we've got some of the same things but also I am positive that she's got a ton of great options and gift ideas if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up stay tuned because in the next couple of days I'll be sharing what I got for my kids in their stockings and you'll see some more educational things in there as well possibly maybe just really great stocking stuffers. I'm excited about their stockings this year. Um, so thank you, Jessica, for collabing with me. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think would be some great educational stocking stuffers beyond what I've shown and beyond what Jessica showed. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas. Bye, guys.